I believe it is really important to have an understanding of these two triangles in life. I am Claudia Ricard, and this is one of my favourite diagrams. I actually got it from my friend, my colleague and my mentor, Beryl Comer. So let me start by drawing this. This triangle here represents what happens at the beginning of life. Our mind is eager to learn, our body is eager to get going, and our soul is brand new and shiny from Soul World. If you don't believe in souls, then we can write self. Now, when these all overlap, we have this lovely little bit in here, and that is called balance and harmony. And that is hopefully when we're very little. That's play, 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 Christmas, birthdays, play, 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 and everything's all lovely, we hope. Uh, unfortunately, I do see some clients who have not even had that when they were a child. However, in general, when we then go to school, mm, what happens? We have this wonderful thing called expectations. Now, with the best will in the world, as parents, we do all have expectations of our children. We expect them to brush their teeth. We expect them to do their homework. We expect them to come down when we call them for dinner. However, some parents do put on their child, why didn't you make honor roll? Why didn't you make the A star? Why didn't you make the football team? Why didn't you make the cheer team? They did, they start comparing. And this can lead to disappointments. Now, some children put that on themselves and it's not the parents at all. They see what their other peers are doing and they think, oh, I should be doing this and it can lead to disappointment. Sometimes it's the teachers. Sometimes it's the child who has these expectations that they may well be cared for. They may well want to be nurtured and they see that their other friends are going on vacations or doing various things, going to McDonald's or doing whatever that they perceive as being fun and they are not. And it can lead to this triangle. And this is anger, fear and guilt. And the anger feeds the fear, and the fear feeds the guilt, and the guilt feeds the anger, and the fear feeds the anger, and the anger feeds the guilt, and the guilt feeds the fear. And it goes every which ways. A lot of my clients live in that, and it is a very uncomfortable feeling. And all anger, when you get the below the below, all anger is based in fear. Now, I say my job, is to get them back to balance and harmony as best as I can. And we do that with acceptance. Now that's acceptance of yourself and acceptance of others. Forgiveness. That is forgiveness of yourself and forgiveness of others. However, who am I to say to somebody, oh, you need to forgive somebody and when they've been abused? No, that is not my place to do that. That is up to my client. That is their choice. That is somebody else's choice to do so. If I can, my best place I can get them to is indifference so that that feeling or whatever they feel around that event is no longer right here. It's like, yeah, just something that happened and it's, it's it wasn't my fault. Um, it's them, it's not me. I have nothing to be ashamed of, that feeling. And that is what I do. But I would never tell somebody who has been abused, oh yes, you just have to go and forgive them. No, that's not what I do, okay? If they can, great, that's their choice. Now. Letting go, that is what I am really good at helping people doing. 
I help people let it go. I have various uh, metaphors that I use. I also have um, some techniques that I use. I use uh, the BLAST technique, uh, bilateral analysis stimulation technique. I use Havening, I'm a certified Havening practitioner, and I use Kinetic Shift, and that helps people let it go. Then moving on, that is what you get to do. That is what my clients get to do. That's what they do, moving on. Free your fears and fulfill your future with Claudia Ricard, the English hypnotist. Bye.